Now, for almost every SEO on the planet, Google Search Console is still one of the most widely used tools and one of the most useful tools available to us. But the problem with Google Search Console, especially as someone like me who uses it almost every single day without fail, is it does become very time consuming when you want to start doing more complex things with data. And that's before we even take into account the fact that you are limited to 16 months of data. But what if there was a better way to make use of all the data that is available within Google Search Console? And that's where SEO testing might come in. We've spent a lot of time over the past weeks and months developing a new dashboard for SEO testing that in our view and the view of our customers helps make that GSE data a lot more useful. So if we jump into the dashboard here, you can see straight away that we have site performance in terms of the clicks that we're getting from Google. And we go way beyond the 16 months of data that is available within the main Google Search Console UI. This one here goes all the way back to the 1st of August of 2024. We can see that in a daily, weekly, or even a monthly view. And then we have options here to add in Bing clicks, Google impression, impressions that we're getting from Bing, our average position, click-through rates, and even the click-through rate that we're getting from Bing as well, because we have the Bing API access enabled within SEO testing. Jumping down here, we've then got our most recent test results. So we can see the name of the tests, the type of test that it is, its current status, the date it started, and then the percentage change as well. Moving even further down, we've got a view of the top pages in terms of clicks from the last 30 days. We do the same thing with queries. We then have different content groups as well that we've set up. So we've got a content group for our GA4 based content, all the content that we've published since August. We've got free tools that we've just started to put together, all the content that I've written, any content that contains SEO testing or SEO testing within the content. We've then got rank tracking as well. So we can follow along with some of our target keywords and see how they're doing different site maps that we've got. And then we've got a nice little graphic over here to see ranking buckets per day. Now, all of this data is available within Google Search Console, except for SEO testing, but that's kind of our thing. But all of this data is available. The problem lies in how much time and effort it takes you to get access to this kind of stuff. So it begs the question, why not use SEO testing to make better use of your Google Search Console data?